Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Going Medieval. So we got um, spring, day one, so we get to start planting some stuff today. And hopefully we'll be able to get most of our farms finished in the next couple days. And we got quite a bit of the wall done um, for the uh, section over here. Now we have all this wall still to do, but I mean... <laughs> We have a lot of stuff that we still need to do, but I'm almost wondering if we upgrade our buildings to have multi-levels like this. If we can't shrink the wall a little bit. We might still need to go around a little bit of parts, but we could probably cut around here, maybe. And bring it directly through. I'm not sure. I I'm, I'm thinking about it. We might just want to continue doing the full wall and purchase the resources over time. I'm not sure if we're going to have enough clay for all that, though. I'm not even sure if we have any clay left, actually. It doesn't look like we have any clay, but it could be wrong. Uh, we do have some clay here, but it's not a whole lot. So we'll need to um, start doing that. I don't know why he just put the barley in the... <laughs> He's just like, I'm just, I'm just going to do that. What are you doing? You're going to enjoy entertainment. Well... That's great. I wish he would have thought of that before he started farming. <laughs> okay, whatever. I don't know. Sometimes they act weird like that. They're like, you know what? I think I'm. You know, I think I'm gonna go have some. You know, relax and just. I was gonna like plant some crops, but no. I'm just gonna go and do my own thing. It's like, all right, go ahead, do that. But um. Yeah, it looks like we got some of our trees survived. Didn't chop these ones down. But uh, we'll do that right now. I'll tell them to chop those down. Those are ones that are not in our field. And... Could even expand that eventually. Now, one of the things that I do want to um, consider doing today is one, we're going to need to finish that seed vault. And I need to start planning a little bit more about the, um, what do you call it? Uh, the cold storage, because our kitchen's directly above it. And that's probably contributing to some stuff spoiling and stuff like that. So we we'll probably want to do something about that in the future. Um, Especially if we're going to be expanding it into this area. We're going to...
right, so our gardening's going good. We got uh, most of it done for the barley. And I think next what we'll be working on is probably the cabbage and getting that one set up. And, or we could do probably the, um, I think beetroots give you a little bit more, don't they? Not sure how much they actually get for the um, barley or not. So we might go with, uh, or not barley, uh, beetroots. Uh, we might go with the beetroots instead and get that so, uh, planted. We're on day two, so we still have tons of time. But I um, want to get that farming a couple fields done pretty soon before um, summer, so which is, you know, only like 10 days away, so. But, yeah, once we get that seed vault built, I think it'll be easier to um, get people to farming because they're not transporting it all the way from the kitchen area and having to go all the way over here to just plant. So, like, they'll just need to go down here, which is a lot faster than doing that. We might even be able to build another seed vault over on this side just for like these three or something like that. And then this sea vault will do these three. We could do something like that, I guess. Or if we want to get it a little bit further, we can um, have them do it there. And then we're gonna need another seed vault over on this side for the tree farm. So there's that as well to take into consideration, so. And then I, I don't want it anything too huge. It's just something a couple of layers down and uh, surrounded in bricks or something that we have extra resources on. Um, I'm still waiting for them to build that, but once they build that, then we'll be able to um, get that all sorted out but for the next level. So I'm gonna do that and we're gonna just set up the um, corner parts for this decoration so it's ready for the next level and I think I'll go down one more level from this so we have one and then two and then I'll probably go down one more and that should be probably good so but yeah it, it's coming along good and I'm just adding the decoration to the uh, farms as well for the corner pieces or the uh, edges just trying to make it look a little bit more better.
All right, so we got a battle going on right now. We need to um, basically defend our settlement. I'm not sure where they're going to spawn. Okay, they're on that side of the uh, thing there, so we will we'll be able to get everyone on to the other side, I think. That's good. Uh, what do they got here? A couple bowsmen. Let's just take a look at the uh, thing here. So one adapt archer, six master archers. Oof. Um, yeah. I don't know if we're going to be able to take all these guys on at the same time, honestly. That's pretty heavy um, amount of archers. We have seven archers to six of the other people. Um, well, I guess we can test out our new barricade thing or our new wall. We'll see how that actually fares up. Um, if it's actually going to protect us or not, so. We'll get everyone in over here. We'll get somebody uh, to wall up that. So this, this person doesn't really like using melee or anything like that. So we'll get them to build the wall. And everyone else can get on positions, I guess. So we'll bring them over here, and actually we'll bring them right up to the uh, top here, and we'll try to get there before everyone else. Actually, you should be uh, coming too. Probably don't need these two guys. I'm not sure where this person is. They're coming. Those guys are on the move. They're coming around that direction, which is actually to our benefit because we'll have the door, um, we'll have this side set up so everyone will be protected from people coming across that way. So that will be good. Uh, okay, she's in place. Just wait until they get a little closer and our people start getting up there. We'll get them situated at the front of the walls. So the battle went pretty good. Uh, one settler got severely injured. Um, it was Sylvester. 
unfortunately. Uh, he took the br uh, brunt of the um, attack, mostly, so he's got a few uh, health conditions. Um, severed artery, uh, pierced lung, pierced flank, and uh, pierced cheek. So a few moderate things and one pretty critical one. Uh, he should be fine. Uh, we got him out of there um, at the end of the battle. Of, of course, everyone was like, I don't want to tend to him right now. I'm like, okay, just kind of keep an eye on him. But he was close to death, but he survived. He'll, he'll probably survive. I'm pretty sure of it. So, yeah, outside of that, uh, the wall held up pretty good. Uh, the door, um, now, I'm thinking about for the door, and I w um, the more that I'm thinking about it, I wouldn't mind reinforcing the second door uh, for uh, attacks and stuff like that. We might even be able to reinforce the first door a little bit. I know it's going to cost a little bit of money, or not money, but like resources and stuff like that, but it could buy us a little extra time if um, they per se generate on this side of the map. At least we'll have two doors that they'll have to get through. With that being said though, um, another thing that I'm considering is turning this entire area uh, in this section to our market and basically fencing off uh, another wall to basically add additional um, protection for the settlement as well so they'll have to get through like three reinforced doors instead at least that's the idea i'm not sure if i'm going to go ahead with it but um basically bring it up to uh this point or whatever and we'll have it um move the stairs down a little bit further i think that might work pretty good uh we'll see how it turns out but that's a problem for another day if you're new to my community consider joining my discord server uh link is in the description and i will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out